Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today we will be working on how to play Amazon Prime protected content in Chromium. When we install Chromium in Arch Linux and if you try to play Amazon Prime video, you will be getting an issue like this protected content error. So to reproduce it is very simple. We can open the Chromium browser and open the Amazon Prime video in this Chromium browser and if you try to uh, play that video you will be able to see a message like protected content error so I'll be showing I'll show you now so I opened the primevideo.com site and you try to play it protected content error. I am, you will be able to see it in my Arch Linux machine so today we will be working on how to resolve this issue Basically, this issue is due to we are not having one important package called Chromium White Wine. This package will help us to play the premium video content like Netflix, Amazon Prime, etc. By default, this package is installed for Google Chrome. So when you try to play in Google Chrome, Amazon Prime, it will be playing perfectly. So to make it work, we may require to install this Chromium White Wine package. So before installing this package, I would like to tell you uh, certain tools we may require in Arch Linux. The first package is Make PKG package. This will be part of base level. If you uh, install this package base level, you will be having Make PKG pack, uh, command available. Apart from that, there are two dependencies, Git and wget. These two package need to be installed in the Arch Linux. So to test this, uh, I will log into my VM and try to find out this git and wget is installed or not. I already have make pkg package in my VM. It'll ask you to enter the password. You can see here git and wget these two packages are already installed and it's asking you to reinstall it. So in your case if it is not asking you to reinstall make sure you selected here Y option. So in my case it is reinstalled so I am selecting N. Okay so let me check it out the packages are perfectly installed. Yes it is asking me to pass the URL missing URL for wget. When I type git, I am able to see the git other parameters like clone, init, etc. So once you have these two packages installed, you may require to compile the uh, Chromium wide wine package from AUR repository. So the next slide will talk about how to do that. To download the Chrome Chromium wide wine package from AUR, you require to execute git clone this particular url name so what th this does is like it will download the chromium wide wine package from the aur repository once it is downloaded you will be able to see a folder called chromium wide wine folder you need to uh, get inside this folder once you are inside this folder in terminal you also need to execute make pkg space minus si command this will uh, build up the package for you and it will prompt you to say do you want to install you need to say yes there so this will get installed properly in the arch linux machine once it is properly installed you require to restart your chromium browser to restart the chromium browser in the browser you need to type chrome colon slash slash restart once it is restarted you can verify the installation by typing this url so i'll be doing this all step one by one now in my machine The first command is git clone this particular command. I will be copying this command, be pasting it here. Okay, it's downloaded. You can see here now chromium wide wine folder is created. I need to get inside this folder and type make pkg minus si. 
so it's downloading some some packages from internet so if you can see here do you want to install you need to say yes here because it is created all the package for you now the chrome wine uh, white wine will be installing in your machine so it successfully installed once it is installed as i told you in my slide you need to restart your chromium browser so i'm closing this so to restart the chromium browser i'll just copy this url in a notepad into the tab and type so it is restarted so you can check the installation using this particular command you can see allow side play protected content that means it's properly installed if i try to click on play you can see that it is getting played properly so whatever the command which i executed right now it is part of the slide i'll be uploading the slide also part of the youtube video thanks for watching my video